It's a lot of things going on. Slowly but folks, I'm gonna tell you this, we losing generations of amongst these youth and kids out here just dying. But I'm gonna tell you this, it's a genocide going on on this low end in the south side of Chicago. Say I got two brothers and a little sister. Two of my brothers get killed and I get killed. Those whole generations getting wiped out right now on these streets of Chicago. I hate the word Chirac. Don't give us a name. Don't take the perception and turn it into something. We live here. You're blanketing entire communities because of your perception. If you believe that, that's what you believe. But don't give us a name. I have a name. And so I'm, now I'm supposed to take the violence and give it its power by naming it. What is that saying to the young people? My number one issue is giving young people hope. If they had hope in the midst of their environment, our whole communities would change. But people don't want to give them hope. And I don't know why that is. It's, it doesn't cost them anything. But it, I found it to be more powerful than the gun. What I love about Chicago is that it's way bigger than what people see on the news. And it's way more positive than what people see on the news. You know, everybody like, you be careful. You know, they, they done killed like 50 people over the weekend, 150 got shot. I said, I ain't seen none of that until I turned on the news. The blessing is not yours this time. I will take what's mine. Uh, uh, uh. Around this time, I'll take these guys. So, if I had to describe the South Side to someone that isn't from here, I would tell them that it's pretty underrated. People think this is a terrible place and nothing but violence goes on, but this is where I'm from, so this is my home, this is where I feel safe. You don't even have to like look at statistics or papers or numbers. Like You can just tell by walking a day in the street on the south side of Chicago and know like the cut of our budget is much lower than it is on the north side or downtown. Because if you walk down our streets, you'll see garbage littered everywhere. Go into a corner store, all you see is chips and like junk food. There's no easy access to healthy food on the south side, which is a major way of oppressing black people. As a person, I'm very proud of me being aware of my situation and being aware of what power I have. And so me being young, I could follow off to the footsteps of uh, OG on the block and be going around shooting people. But me having my knowledge of what could go on and, and only being able to imagine the families that have lost and suffered due to gun violence. And I'm proud of myself because I know what not to do and what to do. What really compelled me to realize that I need to wake up and try to like strive for fighting for making my community better was I knew like the pain I was going through certain people because of their cousins or their daughters or their sons who got shot. And me knowing that I could have stopped that. If, if there were enough people with the knowledge like I have, uh, that we could have stopped that. And then the south side of Chicago wouldn't be as dangerous as it is now. In a moment of like hopelessness and you not thinking that you could be anything, the only really way you can get out of that is knowing what you could be and knowing what you could have if you had hope. So me giving to them what they could be would just bring them out and make them more hopeful of who they are. You know what I'm saying? 
It's so many of us brothers out here, man, that want jobs, that can, that are hold a job, man, that ain't giving a chance. They don't give us a chance to do nothing. They don't give us a chance to do nothing, bruh. I heard the South Side's under fire. But that's a lie because my city still inspires young black babies to build self-esteem empires that can't be broken by no misconceptions by how we live in a section that breeds criminals. Now look into Chloe's eyes and tell me you see a killer. Tell me you see a convict. Tell me you see a nick. Cause all I see is hope. A Nefertiti offspring who love beams as she runs this concrete jungle, not afraid to dream. You see, mama raised a queen, protected by Southside kings. So it's ironic, they call it Chirac, cause ain't nothing shy about these babies. And the only racks we stack is to buy fried chicken biscuits and gravy. But I heard the South Side's under fire. No, no, darling, that's that misinformation spread by content suppliers who never had a conversation with the South Side Church congregation that truly believes in this community's resilience. It can't be broken by no misconception by how we live in a section that breeds criminals. Now look into Xavion's eyes. And tell me you see a killer. Tell me you see a convict. Tell me you see a nick. Cause all I see is, all I see is a fearless beauty who explores these alleys and L train steps on his way to the barber shop where black men laugh mightily to balance out the days they wept. Nights we slept on concrete futons. But see, our spirit can't be devalued by no handcuffs attached to a penitentiary coupon. Looking through the lens of a camera held by the hands of the purest of souls. This ain't thought control, can't be bought or sold. But see them shy streets be Antarctic cold. I'm here to return every dream that was stole and produce soul food like what came off my grandmama's stove. Cause with a little bit of shine, this excellent blackness can glow. Now, 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 Chick, 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 chick,